In Iran recently, uh, there has been an explosion at one of the mines, coal mines, in the north of Iran, in Golestan. And uh, what's happened so far is we know that over 20 uh, miners have had uh, have died. Their bodies have been handed over to their families, but there's many more missing and obviously presumed dead. And of course, it's such a huge human tragedy and such a loss. And of course, we know that what's happened here is just the tip of the iceberg of the situation of miners and workers in general in Iran, yeah, isn't it? It's highlighted the plight of the working people and miners in particular and the working people is lack of complete safety and security for uh, working class who are actually, comp you know, taking part in really, really dangerous um, activity, dang dangerous conditions. This is, you, com you, you put this aside that there's no responsibility. The, you know, the, the, the inspectors were in the mine day before and passed it to safety. They did not shut down the mine. And, and this is even though the workers were complaining, were complaining about... complaining for a long time about the smell of gas, yeah. the methane, and the and these, and not only that, there's no safety equipment. When they were trying to get the uh, to the trapped miners, but not even oxygen mask for them mm. to go down and, and rescue the workers. But that's actually highlighted the issue. The same mine workers hadn't been paid between eight to nine months. I mean, imagine can, can you imagine situation. not getting your salary for eight to nine months and also given the conditions that they're working in. And of course, this is not something that's specific to them. Many of the strikes in Iran and the protests in Iran are linked to you know, unpaid, unpaid wages, wages, isn't it? For for many months, as well as very low wages. I mean, the the statistics is that uh, the minimum wage is one third of the poverty line in that country, and millions of people uh, who are working are living under the poverty 12, 12 line. Twelve million, I think, is that, or twenty um, million? Well, it's you know the the numbers vary. The government says one thing, uh, yeah. but in reality, people say it's actually fifty million people are living yeah. under the poverty line. And and the issue is that. Um, uh, when you looked at the um, first of May International Workers' mm -hmm. Day celebrations and, and protests, majority of the protests and demands were for unpaid wages. And this is not just the private companies and privatized companies, the government institutions and government employees are not paid. Yeah. This is a condition that the Islam and Islamism creates for working people. And some yeah. of the other uh, demands is of obviously uh, the release of uh, jailed um, labor activists, you know, the right to association and organization, the right to strike, they're illegal in Iran. And uh, very often, uh, labor activists are charged with yeah, sec security, security crimes. You know, yeah, I mean, exactly. th th this is very interesting because um, this goes hand in hand with the lack of any rights and really, really bad working condition in Iran. He's, that's why they, uh, anybody who protests, they say you are committing a crime against the security of Islam and nation and put them and, and jail them and flog them and that so you put that together you could see the role of Islam and Islamism in power and also and very long creates... long term prison sentences yeah, yeah. for anything from five to eleven years yeah. for organizing a May Day rally or for protesting you know unpaid wages and things like that and of course the good news is one of the um, labor uh, leaders Behnam Ibrahim Zadeh was yep. recently released after six years in prison he was kept one year longer than he was uh, meant to be kept in prison and of course we have other uh, labor leaders including Abdi yeah, uh, who, who's a, with the teachers association his name is Ismail Abdi who's been sentenced to six years for yeah. colluding against the state uh, again for fighting for teachers rights yes so you know it's important to uh, put the um, uh, you know floodlight actually on the condition of the working class in Iran, and and the mine, um, uh, the recent mine, uh, uh, the mine, the explosion in the mine in Iran actually highlights a lot of these issues: unpaid wages, lack of security, imprisonment of the workers who protest and object to the working condition. That's life under the Islamic Republic. Yeah, so of Iran solidarity itself. with the working class in Iran is key. How can some left organizations defend the Islamic regime of Iran as a regime that is pro-working class? Uh, absolutely shocking and outrageous. You know, it's it's anti-working class, anti 
uh, human rights in all aspects and it's uh, something that needs to be opposed, pressure needs to be put on to release the jailed workers and to stand with uh, the demands of workers in Iran which includes you know a rise in minimum wage, better safer working conditions, payment of unpaid wages and the right to strike an association.